conventional catalytic heater. Yes. We can breathe this exhaust because it's just hydrogen. Yeah, it's a nice heat. It would cost you nothing if you make your hydrogen yourself. Hey guys, I'm sorry for the cliffhanger last week, but it's always kind of difficult to work with YouTube to engage new viewers to subscribe and at the same time stay at a scientific level. So I hope you learned something about the catalytic combustion. And today we have a great video where we dive very deep into hydrogen heat. We look at hydrogen boilers, which have been funded research projects a long time ago. And we will really get a precise look, uh, camera view. First, we are going to talk about catalytic heaters. Secondly, about direct burners, hydrogen, pure hydrogen burners. And then we, we're going to look at what's going on in the hydrogen market. And we're going to thread the question, which is kind of in my mind always what is the consumer and producer dilemma of the hydrogen economy and why is that so why can't we buy hydrogen consumers and why can't we get hydrogen production funded so we're gonna start with the catalytic heater and enjoy the footage we will follow the hydrogen supply line here. This is the hydrogen line, which goes through a pressure regulator, a sensor with a feedback, I guess. And then via this quick connector to a hydrogen boiler. This boiler is to heat your house. It has a huge power, over 20 kilowatt. This is a flow regulator. Uh, if the heat demand is different, for instance, if you need uh, shower water, have higher input. And this is a door to the burning chamber. And we see the boilers from 1995. That is almost 30 years ago. At point one, at point eight, you see the fan which blows in the air. And at point 10, you see the automatization. I think this heater is awesome. So I want to buy one. And in uh, 2022, in June exactly, I wrote the manufacturer, Buderos, an email. He answered me with a, I think, standardized email for the 100% hydrogen ready, climate neutral heater, research and development, and even field tests are already in process. From 2025 on, we plan on a serious production of a hydrogen-ready gas boiler. Hydrogen-ready boilers are capable to mix hydrogen with methane by 20%, and then there will be a retrofit to convert them to 100% hydrogen. And then they wrote that they care a lot about the climate and they have some economic and ec ecologic and social responsibility. And that's why they don't sell the hydrogen boiler. And then in Berlin last year, a colleague of mine saw this hydrogen boiler. It's not a catalytic heater. It's a direct burning boiler. He said, but you can't buy one. So I said, why can I not buy one? Because they only sell to energy suppliers. And in Germany, an energy supplier is a formal governmental institution, which is local, like province regulated. And it uses the overall German grid, for instance, and just makes the the bills and the calculation uh, for the consumers, the works on the piping system on a local uh, level. And here you see the map 
of all the privileged energy suppliers which are allowed to have a hydrogen boiler since 2019. But also this is a little bit more recent. We do the same. We follow the hydrogen supply line. Right now the quick connector is not mounted to this direct burn-in boiler. And uh, this is all to measure and regulate and uh, burn-in process. Recently, a Bavarian uh, politician published this uh, video about also a direct hydrogen burner. There are a couple of houses, they have a, like a microgrid which they feed with hydrogen trailers. Big truckloads full of hydrogen go in a microgrid and these hydrogen burners burn it to heat the houses. He says that it will be worth 5,000 euro, which is much, much cheaper than uh, a heat pump. But uh, then you go on the website of this manufacturer and you will see, read a lot of blah, blah. And yes, they want to save the nature. It is so fantastic. Then they have some stock pictures with some containers where hydrogen is written on. And, but you cannot buy one. Still, now 2023, I said, okay, I'm going to make an experiment because maybe the catalyst is so expensive that the catalytic heater is not worth a try to put it on the market. And I, I found this catalytic heater for propane and I said, okay, 150 euro, it's worth a try, let's do it. And it works in such a way that you ignite a pilot flame here, which is blue when, when there's propane branched to it. And this pilot flame will then heat a temperature sensor which opens then a valve where three nozzles fill this fiberglass net which is maybe platinized with this platinum catalyst and wrapped in this iron mesh and propane is heavier so it will go down and spread over this mesh and then the ambient oxygen will react with the hydrogen in the propane because propane is nothing than a carbon hydrogen mix. The catalyst will start glowing. So that's what you see here in red. And I did this late at night in, in the laboratory, put it upside down because the hydrogen is uh, much lighter. So I want the hydrogen to rise up over the net and I had to switch the pilot flame upside down as well. And uh, here you, you can see the fiberglass and uh, you can see that I reached temperatures above 100 degrees, which is a very nice heat. That's uh, why there's the, of course, this frame, but uh, I took it away. So whatever you see in the coming footage, never do that at home. It's very lumpy. It's very, very dangerous. It is just to have a thought about why is hydrogen economy not working? This is a conventional catalytic heater. And it just run for a couple of seconds. It is connected to a two hundred bar bottle, which is currently at hundred bars, and I will run it in less than five liters per minute. Okay, I will stop this experiment to get in any danger. Yeah. 
you can see 70 degrees on this thermometer and I can still go here it will be like maybe a little over 80 degrees right at the catalyst 87 89 89 degrees if you touch the iron so I hope you saw that it isn't so complicated to heat with hydrogen. This stove I bought for 150 euro. Yeah, it's a nice heat. It would cost you nothing if you make your hydrogen yourself. So I hope you understood that every business model has to keep his income and therefore the dependence of the ones who need what he's selling. I hope you saw also that the hydrogen appliances are safe for decades. I hope also you saw what it can be fun and economically viable to work with hydrogen and to begin sooner or later to store hydrogen i think it's fun to be on the safe side to make your own hydrogen but if we reduce at the same time our consumption while we have the same standards i mean it's just we don't have to waste that much as we did but anyway we reduce consumption we raise production there will be a sweet spot and that's where you will be independent you will be not responsible for any oil leakage on the ocean you will not be responsible for any gas leakage in the atmosphere you will not be responsible for wars which will be fought and have been fought for fossil fuels you will not be responsible for new york tokyo hamburg to be evacuated because the water rises so and <laughs> these business models uh, which will develop are the business models of the future so you have the chance go for it thank you very much for watching